just before we get into this video, um, I'm using different editing apps to see which one is my favourite for the new season. If it's a bit plain, if it's a bit boring compared to my other editing apps I've been using, I'm sorry, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and here it is. Right, with the championship about to start tomorrow, I thought I'd do a video on where I predict what every single score will be. Before we get into this video, remember to follow me on Snapchat, link will be in the description, and also remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you see my face more on your YouTube page. Let's get into this video with Friday night's game, Reading versus Derby. With this game, I predict it's going to be 3-1 to Derby because if you guys didn't know in my championship table early championship table early prediction thing, I said Derby would make it to the playoffs and I said Re Reading would be in a relegation fight. So this is quite a weird one and I think it will be very one-sided. Obviously, Derby have signed Marriott and now they're going to have Jerome up front. So those very two pacey players are going to be a great combination and they will get a few goals against Reading and set up a few. Um, they've also got a really strong defence now, Derby. Terry, Davis, Keogh, they're very hard to get past. Um, I do think Derby will do really well this season. Reading haven't really signed very many great players. They're, one of their players, Mark McNulty, signed from Coventry City. I'm sure he'll be starting, but I think Derby will definitely win this game. On to the Saturday games, starting with Birmingham City versus Norwich. This game, I think, will be very, very, very close. Not Neither side really made that many uh, signings. Obviously, Norwich this season have got rid of Murphy and Madison. And uh, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw for this game because I just think that they're both very similar clubs with very similar playing style and I think Birmingham are going to get a goal and Norwich are going to get a goal and it's going to be very even. Next Saturday game is actually Brentford versus Rotherham. Obviously last season Brentford showing throughout the season they have real quality in Ollie Watkins and different players and I think Griffin Park is a really hard place to go and win for Rotherham and obviously Rotherham just coming back up. Um, a lot of the people are saying that they're under relegation threat, they haven't made very many signings. So for this game, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brentford. And um, I think Oli Watkins might get a goal. Uh, someone else might get a goal. But as I said, Rotherham well, under, under some relegation. For Bristol City versus Nottingham Forest will be a very interesting game. Obviously, a lot of people have said that this could be Forest's year. They've made some quality signings in Graben, Carver Hallow, Jack Robinson. They've done some really good signings. And in this game, I'm going to say... I'm going to go 2-0 Forest, purely because I think Bristol, uh, they obviously they slipped up last season from in the playoffs and they've sold Bobby Reid this season and this season I think they're going to finish about mid-table. A lot of people are saying this is Forest this year, let me know what you guys think and on to the next game. The next game we have newcomers Blackburn take on Ipswich Town. Ipswich have lost their quality through the past few years, they've under, been under some relegation threat, some protests with their owners. Uh, will it be even versus Blackburn? Maybe, but I'm going to go for a 1-0 Blackburn, purely because Blackburn have a lot and lot of confidence from last season, and they have some really good players with pace like Palmer, Elliot Bennett, Conway, Samuel. They're a really good team, Blackburn, and uh, they will get a breakthrough, Blackburn. Mi Millwall versus Middlesbrough, I'm really looking forward to this game. Both sides are really good, really even. Both sides pushing for the playoffs. Middlesbrough are maybe even aiming for second or first. Uh, um, I do think that the Den is a very hard place to come to and win. And I'm going to say 2-2 because I don't think either side will win because both sides are really good. But it'll be such an even game. Middlesbrough have managed to keep on to Traore. Although it does look like he might go... But uh, everyone knows how good Millwall are at home. And I just think 2 is a pretty good score. The next game we're going to be talking about is Preston versus QPR. A bit like Brentford, Preston have showed everyone how good they can be when they're performing. Uh, they always fight for three points. And uh, their squad is very talented, Preston. And I'm not too sure about QPR this season. They haven't made that many signings. Uh, they've been under some relegation threat for some while. But they've never really quite got relegated or quite stayed up. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Preston. Because, as I said, the Preston squad is very, very, very young. 
very talented and I do think 1-0 is a fair score. Now, West Brom versus Bolton. West Brom's first game in the championship for some while and uh, I'm going to be honest, for the championship, West Brom's squad is very, very, very overpowered. Bolton's off. Bolton are favourites to go down. Bolton haven't signed really anyone. The players they have signed aren't good enough for the championship. And that's where I'm going to go for 3-0 West Brom. Personally, I think West Brom will win the league. And uh, that's saying a lot from a Villa fan. And yeah, I just... Uh, I do think Bolton will go down and I do think West Brom will dominate the game. Next game is going to be quite interesting because it's Wigan versus Sheffield Wednesday. And like Reading versus Derby... In my other video where I did the early championship prediction things, I said we can be in a relegation fight. And I said Sheffield Wednesday would make the playoffs. And a lot of people question me about that. But I just think they've got Rose, Forestieri, who's fit this season. Fletcher, uh, some great midfielders like Adam Reach, Bannon. They have some great pace, some great upfronters, some great forwards. And... Um, I do think Wigan will have a really good go at this, but they haven't signed anyone in defence. And as I said, they've, Sheffield Wednesday, they've got Rhodes, Forrest, Thierry, Fletcher, etc. I just think what Sheffield Wednesday will get the breakthrough, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Sheffield Wednesday. Will Grig, will, will Grig perform in the championship? I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Maybe he'll score in this game, but I'm going to go for a 2-1 Wednesday. Sheffield United versus Swansea going to be a really close game. Sheffield United or Swansea haven't really made any big signings. Uh, both clubs are very attacking play. And I do think it will end in a draw. And I don't think either team will score. So I'm going to go for a nil-nil. And uh, I think it will be a very interesting game to watch, actually. Uh, Swansea playing in the championship. It's like West Brom for a while. Will they, will they go up at Swansea this season? People have been asking me. I'm saying no. I don't think they'll make the playoffs. But this will be a very interesting game. The last game, which will be on Monday night, Hull City versus Aston Villa. Obviously, me being a Villa fan, I would love to see us win. We've managed to keep Greeley so far, managed to keep Adoma, Chester, we've signed a new goalie. A lot of players we managed to keep that no one thought we would. Uh, I'm going to go for a 2 0 Villa just because I think Hull haven't really signed anyone again. Bowen's not looking like he's doing the greatest job at the end of last season. And will I be going to this game? I'm not sure. I don't think I am because if you guys didn't know, I actually play for West Brom. And on the Monday night and the Monday whole day, I have to go to this West Brom thing to play lots of different clubs. So I don't think I'll be going to this game. If you guys enjoyed game. this video, here are all the scores I think will be this week. And let me know what your team is and what your team will, what, who your team will beat. And uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Baby.